Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I have decided to vlog daily from my country to keep you updated on the situation during this awful war with Russia. If you're new to the channel, go check some of my videos and if you like them, do subscribe because the world needs to know more about Ukraine. And I hate recording videos like today's because we had a really hard night and many Ukrainians were wounded and killed by the missile attack of Russian orcs. I have chosen the photo for a thumbnail that was taken today uh, in Lviv region on the remains of one of the houses where the dog is sad and missing its um, host. Five people were killed on that place. Totally innocent Ukrainian civilians who did not expect a missile will hit them, especially in Lviv region, people are more relaxed than in eastern and central parts of Ukraine and in Kyiv. Many of you were asking if everything is fine in Lutsk, where I live. No explosions here. I see that on some news they've mentioned something was heard, but nothing actually happened here. And I think that many people during air raid alarm, when they read the news that different cities are targeted, they become extremely anxious and various sounds can be treated as explosions. Believe me, when I hear a plane flying yesterday, one was flying really close to uh, the university or when you hear uh, an explosion and it can be for example um, a wheel of a car there are lots of uh, minor explosions that happen in your cities but when you live at war and when it is an air raid uh, you can overreact so in case with Lutsk everything went safe this time but many 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 Ukrainian cities were targeted they tried to destroy our critical infrastructure and many regions like Kharkiv region for example are left without electricity and Zaporizhia region I will speak about Zaporizhia atomic power station later because this is a very dangerous thing happening right now uh, according to the official reports of the Ukrainian armed uh, forces 81 different kinds of missiles were targeted on us this night. At night, people are specifically vulnerable. It is difficult to uh, make um, conscious decisions because like you were sleeping a second ago and now you ha uh, have air raid alarm and then in a second you may hear uh, explosions. Uh, it's very critical to make correct decisions and you know the longer we live at war the more people get used to air raids and the more people ignore them and this can lead to more victims among people but everyone is very tired and i have heard dozens of people saying like you cannot escape your fate i'm not going to run in my pajamas through winter night into a bomb shelter it's a mistake but at the same time believe me after you leave a year at war with all this uh, hardships that we encounter daily you cannot predict how will you act in this situation because one thing to be alert for a day for a week and it's pretty difficult to be alert for more than a year but i'm not saying this is correct i'm just trying to describe you the level of like depression uh, that is present among many people who seem normal and optimistic on their work uh, places or in the theaters but that's our ukrainian reality so 81 missiles were targeted including uh six daggers if i'm not mistaken i was trying yes yeah, six dagger missiles which are really uh, ruining and it seems to me it was the largest number of dagger missiles targeted on Ukraine since the start of this war. <clears throat> All of them were uh, shot from uh, the seas, the Black Sea, the Sea of Azov and the Sea of Kaspi. So seas are dangerous for uh, Ukrainians. Uh, there were uh, destructions in Kyiv, three uh, districts were uh, hit and it seems to me three people wounded and lots and lots of cars uh, destroyed. But cars is nothing and believe me many ukrainians have changed their attitude towards property money and i have spoken to many of my friends who had like dreams to build a house and now they have totally different dreams like after the war is over they don't plan to invest much in buildings we see we saw them uh, ruining in cars we see how quickly they can burn um, people want to invest in lifestyle, in traveling, in uh, uh, education and other things. <clears throat> this is a very sobering experience, by the way. What is also uh, bad, a region uh, of Lviv was heavily attacked, its infrastructure and in a small town of Zolotiv. Actually, I I'm trying to figure out why they targeted Zolotiv. 
two houses or more were destroyed by a missile and people who were living in these houses, because this is a sleeping district, were killed. Five people killed and actually you see the photo from that location as a thumbnail. I felt like uh, this is a very emotional photo because uh, this is just the ruins and uh, just people uh, people are gone and the dog is trying to accept this new reality but believe me there are lots of families torn children left without their parents and many many tragedies that happen daily because of this Russian orgs another huge problem caused by tonight's attack is uh, that uh, Zaporizhia atomic power station is now left without electric current at all so it does not have electricity and electricity is vital for atomic power stations because it helps to control all the processes. Now, 18 generators are working on uh, it, but um, they have like enough petrol for 10 days, nothing more. If uh, the normal operation of the atomic power station cannot be preserved, it can cause serious uh, radioactive uh, catastrophes and it seems to me that even the head of the EIA or how do you call it in Ukrainian it's a different abbreviation but I mean International Atomic Energy Agency or something like that spoke about the tremendous danger that this situation with <clears throat> Zaporizhia atomic station poses on the world and we are not safe as long as Russia is Russia because uh, like Many other armies, even like uh, fighting armies, they realize that um, atomic power is very dangerous and it can cause nuclear explosion and the problem will be not only for Ukraine but even for Russia, I'm not saying the other parts of the world, because wind is unpredictable, that very explosion is unpredictable. But you know that Russian orcs, including uh, Vladimir Putin, like to quote that they don't need world without Russia and they totally don't care about anything and uh, their behavior on Chernobyl power station where they were digging trenches in radioactive uh, soil and then died uh, weeks later demonstrate that their IQ is really low and they don't know what they are doing and they don't care about the uh, results of uh, their actions. <clears throat> so we need to be prepared for everything but most of all we have to be prepared to stop russia at any price because this is a terrorist and this is a huge terrorist with lots of resources and much money that it is ready to spend on bribing people on persuading people uh, to close their eyes we cannot so many crimes committed and we have to speak about that now we are working on our next episode of Russian crimes and this will mark the first year after Bucha and Irpin massacre. I personally do not like this word and I'd say these are examples of genocide of Ukrainians. This will be a very important video, perhaps the most important video of all that I have filmed and I remind you to watch it this Sunday. Thank you so much for the words of your support and for many of you were worried but i was sleeping safe and sound i did not hear the air raid which is also bad <laughs> bad i was like i'm a very sound sleeper and it's not good during war time uh thank you for buying me coffees becoming my patrons and thus helping develop the channel and uh, producing more quality videos i'm very very grateful for that honestly i'm so inspired that you are with me and you're actually a part of our filming team and thank you for your support of my country, Ukraine. That is very important and we have to win this war. Slava Ukraini!